In this video we discussed how this circuit works. It takes 220 volt. After that it gives us 330 volt at capacitor. In this power supply I was facing a problem. There was no no voltage DC voltage at this capacitor. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Welcome to Hasib Electronics. Friends in this video I will discuss how this inverter driver board. This is used to drive inverter of a refrigerator and we will see how it is working what is the circuit operation we will see in detail this board is a three phase inverter board it takes 220 volts here it takes 220 volts okay then I have here one socket that is for thermostat and we have three wires here for compressor it is basically two speed compressor control this board VCC3 VCC3 board three phase compressor it takes 220 volt 60 hertz 50 hertz or 60 hertz and here we take 230 volt 3 phase 53 hertz to 53 hertz to 150 hertz at input it takes 2.1 ampere single phase and output is 3, point, uh, 3 phase 3.3 ampere at output what is the phenomena between two, uh, this because we know when we calculate a motor RPM and S 120 into F over P when we calculate a speed of a motor and S numbers of RPM we can say it is RPM revolution per minute of any motor number of poles 2, 4, 6 in inverter AC or inverter refriger refrigerator there is a continuous spinning compressor it, it does not have any starter winding it has running winding three phase running winding just the control board controls the frequency of this compressor how it changes the frequency of input section the voltage remain constant okay and we have three phases here this is the first cycle cycle 90 here is 120 the second cycle is starting from here and here and the third cycle every phase is 120 degree apart from the other 120 degree 120 degree so three phases every phase is apart from 120 degree so when we increase or decrease the frequency this formula will work and the number of rotation number of revolution per minute of compressor will increase or decrease it have two stages slow running or full running the compressor keeps running all the time in inverter AC, inverter technology so it changes the frequency I have uploaded a detailed video for half bridge SMPS converter technology you can check this video I did discuss the detailed theory of half bridge SMPS that is for single phase but here we are using three phase now we will discuss this circuit now and we will in next session we will see what are the problems in this board because this board I received for repair the basic input section is the same here I have input terminals okay after input terminals 
at the first stage we see black component that is fuse and after fuse the second side this side we see an anti MTC okay after MTC if we see this line goes to this line filter okay after line filter we have capacitor then we have double capacitor okay and after that I have four diodes I will not go in detail we have four diodes here the surface mounted di uh, di diodes I have four diodes here I will just make a diagram and if we see this line this line is diode this line is connected to capacitor negative terminal and this line is connected from underside from the lower side it is connected to capacitor positive terminal positive negative after that we have two sections here we have one SMPS here is SMPS here is TNY TNY254 this SMPS controller IC that is small IC to drive this transformer here is a stand alone power supply there is a low voltage power supply to power up this processor to power up these uh, half bridge drivers here we have two types of circuits one is the main driver circuit and the second is for biasing it is this circuit is working like a capacitor this complete circuit this circuit is working like this capacitor this capacitor takes voltage from this resistor this resistor is connected to directly this uh, main capacitor and main capacitor gives voltage to this small capacitor and this capacitor applies biasing voltage for this SMPS PWM controller and the same is here here it takes this positive voltage and it's applied to transformer and negative end to this drain and then it makes oscillation after that we have a output circuit this circuit applies regulated voltage to this processor okay here I will make a block diagram TNY254 TNY254 circuit this circuit will give output we have a transformer here this transformer then we have some rectifiers diodes and that voltage are applied to this processor this processor makes frequency and the temperature setting the thermostat gives a feedback to this processor that the temperature is down or up so that this will change frequency time to time according to the temperature of the cabinet of the refrigerator here we have two sections of power and we take uh, voltage output VCC for processor and driver circuit then we have negative here is positive from here we take first phase okay the same the same circuit the same circuit is here second phase third phase and the first phase okay and in the in the driver section two MOSFET one two for first phase two MOSFET for second phase two MOSFET for 
third phase. If we see, here is output connector. One is guide pin, one is blank, first phase, second phase, third phase. And if we see, here is second phase, here is third phase. And for every pair, we have half bridge rectifier 2304, IR2304 IC. This IC takes high input and low input and it drives the both sections and how this circuit works. It takes two signals. Here it is connected. It is connected. When it takes a signal, the second signal will come after a duration. Okay. When first signal appears, this positive voltage will switch. It in first half in the first portion the first half cycle will appear on this FET okay and that time this signal will be appear at output okay after a time this signal will disappear and this signal will appear and that time this signal will appear here so this IC will, this MOSFET will switch and this negative signal will here. So our signal, output signal will be in this shape. Actually it will not sine wave. This signal will not be a sine wave. This signal will like this. So we will take output in this shape, half cycle and this signal is driven every IC to driver, high load driver. Actually it is controlled by the processor. This frequency, this frequency is controlled by the processor. Here is different technology in this system in this board it is not a pulse width modulator here is frequency change in frequency there are two technologies change in frequency or change in pulse width here pulse width will remain same but the frequency of the pulses will change will different and processor will calculate what is the required frequency in the output so in, the, in this way, it will make a switching time period different than the others. This pulse will appear, suppose I say, this pulse is appear here, the next pulse will appear at here to make 120 degree. And after that, here, it is a time difference. Maybe from this to this, there is a difference we can say 100 millisecond when it need more frequency maybe the time difference will come become 50 degrees 50 millisecond it will change the frequency time from time to time depending upon the temperature sensor so we will just we will discuss only one stage, one phase, single phase. Other phases are working like same. High and low signals appear in the driver stage in this IC LM, uh, IR2304 and this IC makes switching. When the positive side is required at the output, the first drive signal will come here and this MOSFET will switch and the positive voltage will appear in the output. When the negative signal appear negative I mean the signal will positive but we need the positive here are 330 volt DC from this main capacitor 
From this main capacitor, positive voltage are here and ground is connected to 1 FVT. I will show you here. We have two types of voltage here. If we see, here is one bar and here is one bar. If we see this bar is connected through fuse and this this side if we see if we see this positive side is connected here and this negative side is connected here so capacitor negative terminal is connected to one side and three MOS three MOSFETs are in parallel and positive side is connected here through this fuse and in the series of this fuse there is uh, this resistor 3 watt resistor so in any case the three MOSFETs are in parallel okay we will make a transistor that's very easy So we have three phases here, first phase, second phase, third phase and here I have standalone dri driver, this driver here and we take first phase, second phase and third phase. We have three phases here. We have three phases here. Okay. Here, if we come to this point, we have processor. It is connected here, this is connected here, and this one is connected here. This processor controls the high and low switching of this MOSFETs. And here, the main 330 volt DC. which we make here 330 volt DC in this board 220 volt single phase is here okay after that it is converted in DC voltage and these DC voltage are applied to this MOSFETs here high and low and we have a processor processor is controlled by thermostat thermostat is connected to this optocoupler optocoupler gives the feedback and this processor will control the frequency of this output from 53 hertz to 150 hertz so now we will see what is behavior of this circuit we will follow these steps In first stage, I will connect power to this board and then so here is input terminal, we will connect 220 volt here. I connected 220 volt here at the input end and I connected uh, here at input terminal and I will connect it to a power socket AC I have 235 volt here and after fuse we can see I cannot find voltage here the voltage must be available there
I cannot find voltage here. DC voltage at capacitor, there are no voltage. So we have to check. If we see, we have disconnection here. Because no voltage was here in the capacitor and no voltage was available here. So I have to resolder because this NTC is disconnected. This NTC is always in the series of this uh, circuit. So it is one end is disconnected here. So I have to check because there was physical disconnection. There was one pin open. So when there is disconnection in the circuit, sometimes we have failures, a very small failures, but we have to find the issue. Where is the problem? If we understand the circuit, then it is very easy, very easy, very easy to find out the issue. I hope so. It will be connected. I will apply some more solder so that it will be in the board. Now it's good. So this very small disconnection it was making an input failure and now we will see the response of the circuit because we find a disconnection at input area we found one end was disconnected from this portion. So this was causing for disconnection in the voltage so we did not find voltage here now we will check voltage here at the capacitor Bismillah. and we did not find the voltage at this portion and now oh yes voltage are available here so now we will check DC voltage 335 volt sorry it was because my light okay now it's okay first when we connected we did not find AC voltage here why because this voltage were not passing through here and after that through jumper it was not reaching here so now the voltage are available here AC voltage bridge circuit is working now and we find voltage here and then we have to check the voltage here at the bus bar so here 336 volt at the both FETs so we have voltage here so our this portion is working now this portion is working then we have to check this section so to test this section what you will do put it multimeter at DC and check this surface mounted capacitors I have 3.2 volt for processor it is processor voltage three point two volt six volt five point nine volt six volt six volt sixteen volt no voltage are available at the output 
and we will find where is the problem then we have to check the optocoupler in the output area here we have 3.2 volt now we need some voltage here to switch this optocoupler because this time optocoupler is in off condition we have to turn on this optocoupler so that I will take a 5 volt power supply or 3.3 volt okay 3.3 volt I applied external 3.3 volt to this thermostat negative side to this pole and positive side to inner pole and we can see this time the optocoupler is connected if I remove this output when we connect optocoupler the feedback arrives so that time it starts working so we have to connect this optocoupler external signal 3.3 volt so that it should be it is a requirement for to turn on the signal we have to wait because uh, it it will take some time to switch on so I applied 220 volt I applied 3.3 volt signal at uh, biasing of the optocoupler so that the optocoupler must be power on so this time the circuit started functioning I applied signal and when I applied signal before that it was giving 3.3 volt and it was hold now because this optocoupler it is just only as a relay as a sensor switch because here it have a photo photocoupler photo triac it, it is not a photo transistor inside it is a photo triac just only when the signal arrives it will make a short circuit it will make a closed circuit and from pin number 6 and pin number 4 or pin number 3 4 1 2 and 3 4 so this time our this circuit should start and if it will not start we will discuss in the next video and I will make a complete test in this video we discussed how this circuit works it takes 220 volt after that as a normal SMPS it takes gives us 330 volt at capacitor in this power supply I was facing a problem there was no signal no voltage DC voltage at this capacitor the problem was NTC was disconnected one one pin was broken when we connected this pin the voltage started passing and when the voltage arrived at capacitor we received the output voltage from this inverter section here is standalone power supply to TNY254 so T254 starts switching and we got voltage at the output area and now I, I will need the compressor to start it up uh, I will make a lamp circuit at the output area I will need to collect three lamps we will in next session we will make complete troubleshooting thanks for watching if this video is good for you you can like subscribe and share assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh